Hello. These are my five daily carry fountain pins and one ballpoint pin. Um, this is the ballpoint pin. It's a twisty one with a little stylus tip. But I actually mainly use it because it's a pin light uh, for my job. Uh, but we'll actually come to that because this is used for this. So the most expensive pin in this lot is a Pilot Elite uh, 9S, I think. So it's a 14K uh, medium nib. I think this one actually needs filling up. So I actually have the original um, cartridge here, mainly because it has a larger volume. But in order to fill this, you need to use a syringe. So let's do that. The way I usually check is I tip it upside down, tap it a bit, and then see if what the level of the uh, ink is. And I fill it with Lamy Black ink. We don't need a, a lot at all. Just pop that there. Oop. So I might need to clean this up a little bit. And that should do us okay. And I quite like this pen, um, when you set the uh, lid like this, and the cap like that, it becomes a full length. <clears throat> anyway, that's that. I'll move on to the next one, but let's just cap the syringe. So, I also have another pen that I use the Lamy Black Ink with, and this is the Hongdian uh, Black Forest. I think this is such a sleeper of a pen, it's, such, it's really, really good. It's a, it's a fine nib, I think. And I think this one's also pretty much empty. So let's uh, fill it up. So this particular pen I just use for everyday writing tasks, it's a black pen so I can use it to sign documents and things. Uh, we'll leave that there. So I'll move on to uh, this pen right here. So this is the pen BBS I think 355. It's a bulk filler pen with a weird kind of mechanism. Uh, so it's like a vacuum filler, but you have to sort of lock this for it to work. Um, the way that I actually check how much ink is in this, because you can see it's acrylic and it's got all this uh, nice kind of pattern to it. If I turn the light down. I wonder if we'd be able to see this. I'm using this pen light here. Um, there we go. So the light does shine through. And then I'll know how much ink is there where the light gets occluded by ink, of course. So this one still has some ink in there, so I won't fill up with the um, blue-black ink. And finally, um, this is a, a Lamy Safari clone made by a Chinese company called Erin. Uh, it is very, very good. It's a very good pen. Um, I think this one needs filling up as well. Yeah, it definitely is filling up. So I, I use the Pilot Fuyugaki ink for this one. I think it's some kind of sunset orange.
Mm, I think I'm getting to the point where um, the ink bottles are getting nearly empty. So I can't actually suck up all the ink in one fell swoop without tilting. So let's tilt it that way. And there we go. This, this particular pen I quite like because, I'm not sure you can see, so it's got a, um, it's a steel nib, um, it says extra fine but writes more like a fine or fine medium, um, and it's anodized to sort of a rainbow colour, it's quite nice, and it's so smooth, it's very very nice, um, so what I use this for um, so in visual field testing, um, I start off by sort of bringing this out and say, oh, what do you see here? And what, what color is the tip of this? And they'll tell me pink. Um, that already tells me two things. They, they can actually see that there's a pen here and they can tell me what color it is. I can use it to test their eye movements. Uh, so I move it left, right, up and down. Um, uh, quite, quite like it. So that's this one. Uh, yeah, this is just a ballpoint pen, nothing too special. Um, back to the bulk filler pen BBS 355. Really like this pen. Um, so it's a stainless steel nib. I think it says is it a medium. I think it is a round medium nib. And the Lamy blue backing is really nice. So what happens with this particular pen is that sometimes it does dry out. Um, what I mean by that is actually it dries out, I think, the, uh, uh, what do you call, what should we call it, the well. So then basically you pull this up, plunge it down, ah, the feed, and then it um, will sort of refeed the feed with ink. So that was considerably Wetter. The uh, pilot. It just has that nice smoothness of a 14k gold nib. Oh, so wet. And then the Hongdian Black Forest. Such a good pen. I didn't clean the nib, did I? So it writes more like a fine medium, this one. Also pretty wet. Hmm. So this one was, I think, $6 uh, minus shipping uh, back in the day when I got it. Uh, they're more expensive now because um, shipping costs have gone up. So I think they cost something like $20 a day, include shipping. Um, this was, I think, 120 US dollars? 120 US dollars. Uh, I like the pen. Wouldn't like to lose it. Um, this, the pen BBS, I think I got for 16 New Zealand dollars um, from the Etsy shop. Um, they are handmade pens and they only make them in small batches of I think a few hundred to uh, small thousands and because of the COVID lockdown situation in Shanghai um, I think they couldn't ship for quite some time so these are actually I don't see them very often. Um, here in Fountain Pens I got a bunch of these um, from AliExpress uh, they're just too good too good value and these are I think two dollars three dollars each uh, Medisave, I got this uh, sort of pen torch, uh, just for work really. Um, I got it for free as part of my stethoscope purchase. And those are my current workhorse pens.